dandelions, welcome back. Now, do you remember that the last time you saw us, we asked you if you could make a scarecrow at home to help tell the story today? Did you make a scarecrow? We did. Do you like our scarecrow, little dandelions? I think they do, Hayley. I think they do. We're very proud of our, of our scarecrow, aren't we, Hayley? We're very, very proud. And do you know what, Emma? No. We didn't have to go to the shops to get no. things for scarecrow. Or leave dandelion at all to make no. our scarecrow. We didn't. He's here to help us now to tell our story. Thank you. So if you've got your scarecrow ready, and if you haven't, it doesn't matter. So, we gave you three clues for today's story. We said something red, a hen, and some seeds. Did you guess, little dandelions, that today's story is the little, little red, red hen? hen. <laughs> now we're going to tell you the story. Once upon a time, there was a little red hen. <laughs> and she wanted some bread. But she knew, first of all, she had to plant some seeds, grow the wheat, to make the flour, to make the bread. So the little red hen decided to ask her friends for some help. First she asked the cat, Cat, will you help me plant my seeds? Meow, not I, said the cat. So she asked the pig, Pig, will you help me plant my seeds? Not I, said the pig. So she asked her friend the worm, Worm? Will you help me plant my seeds? Not I, said the worm. Then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. And she, she did. did. Well, now it was time to water her seeds. So the little red hen asked her friends to help her. Cat, will you help me to water my seeds? Not I said the cat. So she asked the pig, will you help me water my seeds, pig? Not I, said the pig. So the little red hen asked the worm, will you help me water my seeds, worm? Not I, said the worm. Then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. Now, Seeds had grown and grown and grown and taller and taller and had ripened in the sun and it was time to cut the wheat. So the little red hen asked her friends to help her. Cat, will you help me cut the wheat? Not I, said the cat. Pig, will you help me to cut the wheat? Not I, said the pig. So she asked her friend the worm. Worm? you help me to cut the wheat? Not I, said the worm. Then I'll do it myself, said the hen. And she, she did. did. Now was the time to grind the wheat into flour. And the little red hen went to ask her friends for some help. Cat, will you help me grind the wheat? Meow, not I, said the cat. Pig, will you help me grind the wheat? Not I, said the pig. So she asked her friend the worm. Worm, will you help me to grind the wheat? Not I, said the worm. Then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. And, and she, she did. did. <gasps> now she had the flour and it was time to turn the flour into dough to make the bread. And the dough needed to be kneaded. So the cat, little red hen went to ask her friends, Cat, would you help me to knead the bread? Not I, said the cat. Pig, will you help me to knead the bread? Not I, said the pig. Uh, so she went to ask her friend the worm. Worm, will you help me to knead the bread? Not I, said the worm. Then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. It was time to put the dough to cook in the oven. And 
the little red hen went to ask her friends to help. Cat, will you help me put the dough into the oven? Not I, said the cat. So she asked the pig, Pig, will you help me put the dough into the oven? Not I, said the pig. So she asked her friend the worm, Worm, will you help me to put the dough into the oven? Not I, said the worm. Then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. Now is the time to take the bread out of the oven. Can you smell it, little dandelions? Mm. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, oh, it makes me hungry. And the little red hen looked at the bread and she thought, I'm going to eat this. And she said to her friend, the cat,